keeping an eye on the interior. News 13 Sports starts right now. Good evening, everyone. Jamie Schwartzwald back from Topeka, Kansas, where your Fairbanks Ice Dogs captured the 2011 Robertson Cup, the organization's first North American Hockey League championship. Fairbanks swept its way through the tournament, going 3-0 in round-robin play, setting themselves up for a title matchup with the Michigan Warriors. As had happened in two of the three round-robin games, the Dogs' opponent got on the board first when Michigan forward Brad Chapman poked in his own rebound three minutes and 17 seconds into the game. Ice Dog forward John Stompahar responded just over nine minutes later. Stomps ripped a puck, one off the draw by Zach Veerling, past league MVP Robert Tadizak, and the game was tied at one. But the period wouldn't end that way. With the Dogs on their first power play of the game, Chris Eckler got a shorthanded tally on a breakaway to put Michigan up two one after one. Following a scoreless second period, the Dogs found themselves trailing by the same score with under seven minutes to play in regulation. Alex Jensen shuffled the puck to Pete Spratty, who found the back door wide open, and this game was tied at two. While it seemed a little confusing as to who scored the goal during the celly, it was clearly Spratty's. Neither player really gave a hoot, just as long as the puck found the back of the net. Second goal, we just needed a goal. I could care less who got it, but Jensen just set me up. With the game knotted at two, you just knew the dogs would get it done. And when Jenner redirected this Preston Hodge shot, the dogs took their first lead of the game at 16-17 of the third period, 3-2. Stompahar found Alec Hajdukovic for the insurance to make the score 4-2 less than two minutes later. Hajdukovic, or DH as he's called, recollected on the dog's final goal of the season. Stomper gave a great pass. John Stomper, number 26 on Fairbanks. Great pass over and I just went down and I just kind of let her go far corner and it happened to go in. Go and missed it and uh, I got hit pretty hard afterwards. All that was left was the countdown to a celebration and what a celly it was. The Fairbanks Ice Dogs, for the third consecutive time in this tournament, won in come from behind fashion, beating the Michigan Warriors 4-2 in the title game. Players at a loss for word. I don't even know, Schwartzy. This is nuts. Like, I don't even know what's going through my head right now. Words can't describe what I'm feeling. It's just, it's just nuts. I'm just so excited. Like, it's the best feeling right now. It's kind of hard to describe. I absolutely love my year in Fairbanks. Best year of my life, hands down. <laughs> Well, for starters, <laughs> you know, I just can't believe that we, we won it. And we, we couldn't have done it without Joel Filippi. And we Jensen, made and yourself. And, and, and yourself, Jensen, and yourself, you had a huge... I don't even know what to say. I'm just so excited, so grateful for all these guys and how hard they work for us this year. So glad to be bringing the Robertson Cup back to Fairbanks. And I, I'm just so happy my whole family got to come down and make the trip. I, I couldn't be happier right now. Taylor Munson named to the all-tourney team, notching three goals and one assist in the tournament. Following the championship game, he told me the award was a team award and that it wouldn't have meant much had the Dogs not won a national championship. He had a message for his teammates. So I love them all and I'm really going to miss the 90s and uh, you know, just an awesome way to end the season. Joe Philippi for the second season in a row was phenomenal at the Robo Cup. He was named the tournament MVP after making 124 saves and going 4-0 in the 2011 Robertson Cup. Like money, Flip says accolades wouldn't have meant much had his team not won at all. It would have, it would have been a total waste of time, honestly. Like, might as well pack my stuff up uh, right when playoffs started, so I'm happy we came out on top. He is a stud. Yeah. D1. Yeah. Deserves to go D1. Yeah. North Dakota. He's the man. <laughs> Flip often trailed in this tournament, but says he never lost faith in his teammates. Now, when Jensen scored the eventual game winner in the title game, there was just over three minutes left in regulation an eternity for a goaltender. Uh, it was the longest three minutes of my life, you know. I just kept, uh, kept reminding myself there's a lot of time left, anything can happen, and I uh, just kept pushing through. There is a celebration planned for this evening at the Big Dipper Ice Arena. While head coach Josh Hauge will not be in attendance, he's already back in Minnesota preparing for spring camp. He did have a message for his players who will be in attendance at the dip tonight. I just thank them. I mean, what they did this year and, and for them to to make the sacrifice to come up to Fairbanks, Alaska from their homes in California, Minnesota, <laughs> Netherlands, wherever they're from. And, and to play so hard for our community, it's, it's just unbelievable and I'm so grateful. Now folks, I know I made some sacrifices to some of the other local sports stories that have been going on this past week, but I felt it too important not to cover this story. I will bring you up to speed with the rest of the goings on throughout the week here on News 13. I'm Jamie Schwartzwald and I want to close by saying it's been a pleasure and an honor 
to tell the story of the Fairbanks Ice Dogs winning their first ever national championship, the 2011 Robertson Cup.